So you're thinking about trying another DAW. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare my files when I wanna mix in Reaper. Now 98% of the time, I'm on Pro Tools, but I do love Reaper. But there's a few things I need to mention here. When I do receive an email, it's usually in the Pro Tools format. If the mix is 95, 96% done, I'll just finish it off in Pro Tools. I'm not gonna tear it down to bring it into Reaper and try to build the rough mix. That's too much work, sure. It's possible that all the plugins are VST ready, but we're talking about Pro Tools now. You have some companies that only design just for this system. So you have to keep that in mind. So one of the things I decided to do before I imported any audio, I wanted to set this up in a way that it was really familiar to me. What do I mean? I already have my template here. I recreated my Pro Tools template. This came out better than the Pro Tools template. Another thing that I did, I didn't wanna change the key bindings to match Pro Tools because this is Reaper. Sure, one of the cool things about Reaper, you can actually make this do whatever you want it to do, but I wanted to learn Reaper, so I didn't change any of that stuff. But there is a couple of things I did change. So one of the things I love about Pro Tools, it's how organized it is when you save. Reaper, not so much. So let's take a look at this file here, and it looks extremely familiar. It looks just like the Pro Tools structure when you save, and I created that. Now, I'm not gonna get into the details, but a big shout out to Kenny Joya. You can probably find his video. He showed you exactly how to do this, and it's so organized. Another thing that's a really easy change is the fade in, fade out. Now, I do this inside of Pro Tools as well. Usually set like this, I prefer it this way. That's just me. And you can do the same thing for the crossface. Usually, this is the default one in Pro Tools. Just works. And I'll just save that. So little changes like that, I do. Now let's go back to Pro Tools and let me show you how I prepare the files for Reaper. Now we don't need to worry about plugins. There's no plugins. The ones that are there, they're not doing anything. So one of the things I like to do before I start exporting things, I wanna make sure there's no pops, clicks, I wanna to listen to that two track, the producer did a few things, everything checks out. Another step that's really, really crucial, I wanna kinda of name everything appropriately. So before we start doing that, I'm gonna get rid of things that I don't need. So the first track, I'm gonna just highlight, select all, make sure there are fades or whatever, make sure that, again, there's no pops and clicks, and I'm gonna consolidate this. And that's by holding down Shift Alt 3, and it's consolidated, I'm gonna double click, and it's called main. This is actually intro, and right here on mains, I'm gonna change that to intro as well. So now we got intro. That's not really useful. So I'm gonna call it VO. Select enter and right here, I'm gonna name it VO. Now the reason I'm doing all of this, when I export it, I want it to match that. It'll make sense when it's done. So let's go ahead and consolidate this. There's a part here that I cut out. We don't need it. Wanted to bring this part back in. We can always open Pro Tools. This is not set in stone. So let's go ahead and consolidate and let's double click this. This is a dub. So I'm gonna call it, let's do that here, dub one. Okay, great. Same with this track, some fades. Again, parts here that we don't need, consolidate. This is dub two, and right here is the outro. So I'm gonna tap the transient, hold down shift. Let's consolidate, and let's call this out two. Well, actually, I don't know why I called it out two. Let's just call it out. Great. So the next step would be exporting. Now there are multiple ways you can do this. You can export each individual track, that works as well. How I like to do it, I wanna consolidate everything. So you can enter A, but it's gonna select everything and I don't want that because if I do that, I'm gonna have things up here that I don't really need. Another way you can do it, you can just use your mouse and just drag like this. That works as well. Here's how I do it. I'm gonna select the track, the two track, and I need to consolidate this track. That fade at the end, I could deal with it later. I'm gonna use the colon, and I'm gonna go down to the next track and I'm gonna consolidate and I'm gonna continue. So this is how I like to export. You're gonna go all the way to the bottom right, click that little arrow, and let's go ahead and select all these tracks. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna just click. 
and automatically they're all selected. There's a lot of stuff in here that we don't need. And next thing, we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to this option here, export clips as files. There's multiple things that I like to change here. Format, by default, it's usually set to multiple mono. I don't like it that way. I like it to set to interleave. The reason is your two track will stay together and not split, so you'll have a left and right. It's up to you. That's just my preference here. Uh, the bit depth, I set it 32 bit, 48 kilohertz, again, my choice, and then just select the destination and export. Okay, so Reaper's open. So let's go ahead and save. Great. I just wanna make sure everything is right here. It is, I'm gonna press okay. So now we're ready to import tracks. So I have to pause the video for a second. I wanna explain something. In Pro Tools, there's an option if it's not checked and you have your multi-tracks on your D drive, you save it and you send that off to somebody, the audio might not actually be there. So it's important you check that option because it copies all the audio and it imports it into the session folder. I wanna do the same thing in Reaper. So it does have the option, move all media into project directory. You wanna click that. So let's go ahead and go to that tracks folder, select all. I'm gonna select all the tracks and I wanna select this option, separate tracks. You don't wanna import it on one single track. So let's go ahead, select this option and here we go. I wanna go to file, save project as and I'm gonna just overwrite this and watch what happens. It automatically copied everything into that folder. And all I have to do now is rearrange all my tracks and get ready for the process. Now I get it, this is time consuming, but if you really wanna learn another DAW, you just have to do it. Get into it, don't expect to learn this overnight. How long it took you to learn Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you're working on. But I really hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Later.